Greetings folks, I have three more ELRS receivers to show you from Beta FPV. We have the Super DRX 2.4, that is a diversity antenna. You would call that a medium size ELRS receiver really because uh, the other ones I'm about to show you are absolutely, absolutely tiny. So we get the receiver board and the pins, I've actually just soldered those but we get a couple of uh, IPEX connection T antennas some extra wires if you want to direct solder it on, uh, a couple of bits of heat shrink, a QR code and a little manual there as well. Then we have these two ELRS light receivers. Again, we get the QR code for support, cables to solder on, and the tiny little receiver. This one has the tower antenna, you can see that little castle shape with the antenna printed around it in a spiral. Absolutely minuscule receiver with a, a quoted range of 600 metres, but uh, I know for a fact they go a lot further than that. Uh, and there's another option in this receiver, it's the flat antenna. So if you find that is uh, sticking up too much for your build, you can get a lower profile one, which is the light RX with flat antenna. Here it is, it's almost too small to deal with unless you have close-up glasses on, but you can see the difference between the two antennas there. Tower antenna and flat antenna. The board for the flat antenna is tiny, tiny little bit larger, um, but I'm talking, you know, a millimetre or two uh, of an already absolutely minuscule sized uh, receiver with incredible performance. So I'm going to solder these up and I'll show you them in action connected up to a flight control board so you can see the outputs are working and all of that sort of stuff. Now it may be a little bit hard to see uh, but uh, we've got the R pad there, the T pad there, uh, voltage there and ground there. So I'll just organise the wires to solder them on in the right colour scheme and tin the pads to start off with. Then the T, this is so fiddly, cross them over. Now I'll quickly go through the binding procedures again. Uh, I do have a pass or a binding phrase on my module here. So I can't actually bind using the traditional method, but I'll show you the procedure anyway. I have a, a battery connected to the receiver and I have a switch so that I can switch it on and off three times quickly. There we go. Now we get a double flash showing that it's in binding mode. And then we go to the S, uh, Lua script on the SD card, Express LRS, version 3, click, execute, and scroll down to bind. And there we go, that will bind. If you don't have a binding phrase already on your uh, transmitter, as I said. If you do have a binding phrase on your transmitter, to put one onto the receiver as well, you turn it on with the radio turned off, and then wait for 60 seconds until it goes into Wi-Fi mode and it will start fast flashing when it's in Wi-Fi mode. There we go, we just entered Wi-Fi mode now, we see that fast flashing light, so now we can go over to the computer or your smartphone and enter the Express LR LRS RX Wi-Fi network. And then wait for the configuration page to pop up. And you can scroll down to binding phrase, enter your binding phrase, same as that you have on your transmitter. Click save and reboot and let it do its rebooting. And then it will bind as soon as you connect up and turn the transmitter on. Now here I have it connected up to a flight control board just to show that it is actually working. And we're ready to fly. 
And uh, just a quick reminder about how to set it up in iNav. Uh, it's the Crossfire pro protocol. So you connect to iNav in the receiver. You would set that as Crossfire as the RX uh, receiver provider. And then on the UART, you would select Serial RX on whichever UART you're plugged into. I mean, plugged into UART 1 on this board. Save and reboot, and you're ready to go. So there we go. That's the Super D diversity receiver and the two versions of the light receiver from B to FPV. Now I need to go out and take it for a fly and I'll report back eventually on uh, what range I can get with those little flat antennas and the little tower antenna. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.